is the last day of the closed beta of New World, and we will explore it in glorious 4K as we prepare for the full launch of the game on August 31st. You can see here that we are at 3840 by 2160 at very high resolution, the highest possible settings. So we can experience this game in its full glory. Make sure to choose 4K from the YouTube player in the bottom right corner. And the sun is setting, as is this server. It will shut down in a few hours as the closed beta ends, but not before we give you a full run through of everything you need to know about this game. So you can hit the ground running when the server is open with a full character wipe on August 31st, as this new MMO opens officially to the world and I hope you will join us in this adventure. Let's start with the most basic things you need to know. Holding down the Alt key while running will save you many times because you can look behind you without changing your direction. This way you can run away from opponents and see when they stop chasing you. When you let go of the Alt key, it snaps back to your frontal view. If instead you move the mouse without the Alt key, you will run back towards the opponent that you're trying to run away from. So hold Alt, Use the mouse, check your rear view mirror, release the alt, and keep running forward. That's how you get away from enemies. Towns. Here you can do all your crafting, you pick up your resources from outside, and you make your own weapons, your own armor, your own food. In the town as well, there are storage sheds, which are very useful for taking everything out of your inventory so that you can go out there and collect as much as possible before having to return. There are no mules, horses, or any kind of bursts of beasts of burden in New World. You have to be your own beast. Fast travel is very important. It lets you go to the locations you've been before very quickly. You don't have to run there. And you do need to visit them the first time. As well, there are some special areas you can just jump to. Otherwise, you're gonna have to be running everywhere, which is not so bad given the 4K beauty of this game. Here is a waterfall. Very nicely done. You can drown in the water, so don't just go under the waterfall and observe it like I did once, because you will drown. This is fresh water. You can actually take fresh water just by walking in it and pressing E. Fresh water is also an ingredient in some of your crafting. Here we are high up in the mountain. I will hide my interface with Alt H so you could see the valley below. We are above the waterfall in the rocks and all these trees can be chopped down by players. Deforestation for the win. I am up here with the dust in this log cabin I discovered while I was looking for iron ore. Now let's jump down and see what happens. Jump. Jump. When you jump, you don't take fall damage because you roll. Let's not jump and you can see Actually, this is not a good example because you land in the water. When you are crafting your bows, you need ammunition. Arrows, you get feathers from turkeys. <laughs> Literally, you go hunt turkeys. And other birds to get your feathers so you can craft your arrows. Here is not a turkey, but some kind of big beast. Let's go try him out. He's got a special mark around his level. That means he's harder than most. And uh, let's have a look what we do, how we do. Now, the best thing to do is block. When you are getting, when you know they're about to attack, block, mitigate damage. And there you can see my damage was uh, taken on my shield, not my, not my body. Now he charged, what I should have done there is dodge, like this. Dodge left and right at the right time, and you can completely avoid the damage of the table. Now, this is only a level 4 beast, otherwise he'd be much harder. And uh, he's gonna die very soon. So special attack, uh, shield bash, and here he is. Ebear the Grim is down. Now you can, uh, you can skin him by pressing E. And that gives you the pelts that you need for crafting armor and other items. So I got two pork and ten rawhide, plus skill in tracking and skinning. We can see the corrupted grove up ahead. This time I'm going to place a camp nearby, so if I die, I don't have to run all the way back from town. Just press the Y key 
find an even terrain area, and then you just need to apply some green wood and flint, which you can find anywhere if you don't have it, to create the camp. As soon as you applied all the resources, oh, I need flint. Here's some flint, pick it up, and apply it to the camp. As soon as I've done that, my camp and respawn point are here. And now, let's go into the corrupted zone and see if I can do a little bit better and not be distracted by a turkey. Okay, there's the turkey, and there is the corrupted soul. Let's go. Field bash. Hard hit. Block. Hit again. It's a whirlwind. Block. Try again. Swing. Block. Swing. And die. <laughs> Well, I did get him down maybe 25%. I'm still not very good at timing the blocks to avoid taking damage. And what happens when you die is all of your equipment gets durability hit. So it's still usable, but that's why you want to go crafting a lot so that you could uh, replace your equipment very easily. So he's still hurt. Uh, let's try this again. Hit me and I'll hit you. Stun you! Block! I don't, I don't think that block is doing anything. Maybe I need to dodge. dodge. I dodge. Wow. Okay, well, he's almost gone. I'll do this one more time. And I should be able to defeat this opponent after I do this. Okay. Let's try it one last time. Where is the hurt one? This guy. Block, hit, oh. and oh. oh my, I still died. <laughs> so the point of the game is not to just spam your attack, it's to actually block, defend, and attack correctly. Not what I am doing, but now I have to take him out. This is my last attempt. Shield bash, Okay. What did we get? Whoa! That was a one shot. Okay. Killed by a corruption swarmer. This is why you should be higher level. I'm only level 16 when you enter those corrupted zones. Now you can see my equipment. It's uh, basically my jacket is gone and my pants are gone. And so is my tribal loyalty charm, but we can repair them. You have repair kits that you get from disassembling items you don't need. It's like a recycling uh, strategy. And here I am using my repair kits and my gold to repair my armor and my weapon. Oh yes, my weapon is also damaged. So let me fix that. And my coat. Let's repair that. Now we're as good as new. Now how many repair kits do I have left? Only five. So I can't do that too often. It's a good balance between recycling gear and uh, taking care not to die. So let's just take out this turkey. This is someone I can get without dying myself. Take the turkey. So there is a beautiful sunset here. Everything has got a gorgeous yellow color as the sun goes down and we'll get to see the night soon. Here is the world at night under the bright moonlight, bathing everything in a white glow. It looks quite different from daylight, but you can see well enough to adventure and get the items you're looking for. Here you can see fire, which doesn't exist during the day. The environment changes to reflect that it's night. And let's have a look at the town. Inside the town, you'll find a lot of lamps and shops are still open, but you have a very different feel as you explore the city in night.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that run through of a town at night in New World. And that's it. The closed beta has ended. All the servers are shut down. The characters will be wiped and everybody starts at level one with a no subscription fee New World MMO launching August 31st, 2021. I hope you enjoyed this 4K glorious preview of the game and I hope you get to play it in 4K as well or at least 2K to enjoy this amazing MMO and we will be there. We will be playing as MGN and Freedom. I hope you'll join us. We will create a guild and play together. And in the meantime, we'll be collecting all of the footage that we didn't publish and make many more videos so you can learn more about this game. Just follow our YouTube channels. The links are down there in the description below, as well as our websites for the guides on New World. Until the next episode, take care, Freedom and MGN family. My name is George, CEO and founder of Freedom. And join us in the game. Oh, uh, yeah. If you get it, and get your exercise. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> exercise is important. Don't just sit in a chair and play games all day. Fingers do not count as exercise. Get out there, get some sweat. You will thank me later if the... 45-year-old CEO of Freedom can get his butt into the gym. So can you. All right, Freedom family. Till the next episode. Take care. Zaijian.